All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I uh, just got a quick video for you today, just about wire loom. So, you know, everybody puts additional lights and uh, especially on diesels, you have uh, lift pumps and all sorts of stuff. They come with additional wires and the wire loom on your truck isn't really sufficient to add more to it. And they don't supply you with wire loom. So it's really cheap and most people don't even think about it, but it tidies up an engine bay, tidies up under the cab. Also kind of weatherproof stuff keeps uh, water and dirt off of your wire connections and stuff. So we're gonna unroll this today. Um, there's a, It comes in a lot of different lengths and a lot of different sizes. I went with a little bit bigger than I needed, especially because I'm gonna be doing my lift pump wires and wires from uh, my CTS2 edge that I monitor lift pump pressure and stuff. So there's a bunch of wires running from like the tank up to the cab. So uh, I, this can also support additional wires as well. So I went with a little bit bigger than I needed and you may want to do the same thing as well. It's pretty easy to install. I actually don't have the little tool to do it with, but uh, there's a little tool that can slide down in here. You put the wires in and it just zips right through. So I hope I don't tear my hands up too much. I should have bought one of those. We'll see how this goes. All right, so as you can see, I have wires for my lift pump running everywhere. Some of it's wire loom, some of it's not. But it kind of runs up through here. And so we're going to take care of all of that. So I have it zip tied all the way up just to additional wire loom. So we're going to put all these exposed wires in, but we need to take all these clips off first. It's hard to do with one hand, so I'm going to put the camera down and get the rest of these. Alright guys, so you can see I got it. Let's see if I can get around here to show you. I got it wire loomed right here and you can just throw a zip tie around it. I couldn't get it started with uh, without both hands so I couldn't hold the camera but as you can see I'm gonna run it up through here and then I'm actually gonna run this wire loom into the bigger one so ones don't have two going up to the cab and you can see how it just goes in I'll throw a zip tie around here and then there'll be one clean loom all the way to the front of the cab and then I'll uh, see it just kind of presses in here it's really not too hard all right so I had to uh, stop the wire loom about right there because uh, I can't fit all the way up through there especially with that little wire loom tool that I was talking about and these red wires are running over from the transmission here so I got everything tidied up from here back uh, these connections were out of the wire loom, it won't fit obviously, so I just zip tied before and after and put the wires back in to continue down. And we can run all the way back here, and you can see it's a lot cleaner than it used to be. There's no red and yellow and all sorts of different color wires, and I'm gonna snip those um, little extra pieces off. And you can see you running all the way back here, got it all zipped up out of the way won't fall down, won't drag, won't wrap around the drive shaft, and we should be good to go. That's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and please comment below what you'd like to see in the future, and uh, if you have any tips and tricks to do this job a little bit easier, and how to clean up the engine bay or just the uh, overall truck uh, a little bit more than I've just done and subscribe for more and new content's coming every Sunday. We'll Thanks. See you later.